I'm not good at remembering questions, so I gotta read them. <laughs> what do you think your purpose here on Earth is? Mm. Uh, I think that for me, I have I feel a lot of purpose when I'm able to help, uh, quote unquote. I feel like this is more of a yogi or like spiritual person kind of belief, like a woo woo thing. Yeah. Uh, it would uh, uh, the umbrella that it would go under is raising consciousness. So that just means raising the vibration, uh, the internal relationship that people have with themselves, raising the frequency, the way that they show up in their external lives, their relationships, their uh, power to manifest what they want, the law of attraction, um, to, to teach. I love teaching. I love teaching other people. And I love influencing people to work on themselves, to look at something with uh, in a different way, to look at something under a different light. Uh, I really get a lot out of convincing people to do personal development and then teaching them lessons uh, about life, the universal principles, that sort of thing. So overall, I think it's raising consciousness because as people get closer to uh, understanding that we're all interconnected somehow at the very simplest level, like we all come from the same God energy and, uh, and understanding and respecting each other's differences and coming from a place of empathy and responsibility equally that, uh, it's kind of like a world peace answer almost. It's going in that direction. <laughs> I guess world peace. I feel like, I feel like, uh, what, it, what is, what am I on this earth for? World peace. You know, like Miss Congeniality or something like that. Yeah. I'm a Miss Indiana contestant right now. <laughs> Love that. World peace. So how, how did you find your purpose? Oh, well, what's funny too about finding my purpose is that uh, my answer now might be completely different in another five or ten years. And the certainty that I approach my purpose with is not so certain, not so solid, not so uh, like one of Dakota's strengths is that he's like very certain on certain things. Like he, he believes that some things are absolutely true. And uh, I'm a little bit more fluid when it comes to belief and that sort of thing. So when I think of finding my purpose, I'm like, man, I'm still like a five out of 10 on that. Um, yeah. Just like my spirituality is a little bit more uh, interesting because I'm secular. You know, I'm not necessarily Christian, although I still have like a lot of respect for Christianity and that sort of thing. Um, uh I just, when it comes to, like, finding my purpose, I think it's something that I'm still developing and uh, and learning for myself. And there are a lot of times where I fall off of it, where I'm not necessarily on my purpose or acting from a place of connecting with others. But I, I think it's developed over the course of the last five years or so. I'm 32 now, so my advice to all of the parents out there is... Child psychologist on a TED talk said to keep your children alive until they're 25. There's still <laughs> parts of our brain that are developing. There's still things that we're learning and identifying with. And I know for folks out there who aren't necessarily super spiritual, that uh, th there was a course that I took on Hawaiian shamanism. I went all the way out to Hawaii, uh, learned this thing called Huna, and the elements like the earth element then the water element, and then the uh, the air element, and then the fire element. The, the last fire element is associated with spirituality, and it doesn't develop in a lot of people until later on in life. You know, you might be 45, 55, before you really start to feel like you are leaning toward, leaning into uh, feeling spiritual, feeling connected to God, feeling connected to consciousness, the universe, spirit, higher self, so... Uh, I would say be be patient with yourself and know it's going to come in waves and it's going to hit harder as you get closer to death anyways because you're going to be curious about those things and more open to them probably. 
Yeah. I don't feel like you completely master it until like later on in life. And it, it does change. Like for me, like it feels like I have different beliefs as I get older. So, yeah.